Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the sign of Pisces. It's not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Pisces placement you resonate with, you may find messages that also resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen, all linked and listed. We'll put oracles at the end, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Pisces, here we go. Wow, lots of fire energy, Pisces. We have the Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands. Two more cards for Pisces, please. Could have fire in your chart heavy, be dealing with a fire sign. But the vibe that I'm getting already is that um, no more players. Some of you definitely have been dealing with people that are non-committal, um, non uh, un unreliable, undependable. Definitely could have gone through a cycle of, you know, heartbreak and pain and all that kind of stuff with these type of people. But I do see someone that is very much on your level coming in for you. But I also see that you might be hesitant because you are probably, what's the word? That, four of wands, your final card out. Three of cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, very much the vibe I'm getting here. This is about probably dating, you know, probably dating. Um, three of cups, three of three of swords in the past you have definitely been dealing with people that have been non-committal people that like to date multiple people people that don't really like to you know focus on one thing they're kind of here they're kind of there and that's been very painful obviously for anybody but what i do see happening now is that there is someone that is absolutely on your on your level they want stability they want commitment they want things to progress they're very much your match king and queen of wands here but you are very you are going to be hesitant because of what you have been through here in the past you are going to be hesitant in trusting this person you're not going to know what to do you're not going to know whether or not to open up you're going to be hesitant to open up you're not going to want to maybe even see this person in the beginning because of this type of past energy that you have experienced but look how these two are very focused on each other very and they came out side by side one after the other which very rarely happens three of cups Knight of Cups, Page of Wands, Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's time to let whatever this shit is go. All the trauma that you have acquired from these past sort of people, it's time to get rid of it. Because, and you see the star card here. Because this person, whoever this is, could be a fire sign, definitely. But the both of you are coming up as very attractive. Not only to each other, but probably to the outside world as well. Very, very, very attractive, dynamic, uh, sexy couple we got going on here. But you need to release the baggage because this person no longer, you know, you no longer have to do it alone with whoever this is coming in. This person is actually willing to contribute and build. They want to build and that's the truth. Ace of Swords. But I think soon you'll see that. Soon you'll see that this is definitely someone that can, that can, that can, it can work with. This is, could be also happening now or within a week. This person could also be speaking some sort of truth to you that makes it very clear that their intention is to build. They're not on the temporary nonsense. They're not on the temporary nonsense. This is absolutely someone new and they do have your attention. This is also a card of good news, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, so whatever type of nonsense you were dealing with, that's over. Whatever this new person is, is not this old person. So this is very much a heads up. Don't see this new situation in old, in old circumstances. This person's meant to help you with the burden, help carry it with you. No longer having to do things alone. Healing. Wish fulfillment. Something you've been desiring. Clearly. Help create healing. This person's help. Yeah. Time to move forward. This could be happening. Cancer season. This person has a lot of love to give. You got a lot of love to give. We got the Nine of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Someone that is romantic. Time to move forward. Yeah. Real potential. Real, 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 real potential. Look at that. From the Ace to the Ten of Pentacles. This person wants long term. The Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. And I think you know that low key. I think you know that low key. I see the High Priestess here. This is saying your intuition will tell you. You'll know. The Two of Swords tells me you might be hesitant to trust yourself. But that High Priestess says that you can trust yourself with this one. Reasons to celebrate. Very much wedding vibes with the Four of Wands, Three of Cups. And whatever this person communicates to you, because these three cards are heavy cards of communication. The ace, uh, the page of wands is communication for sure. Someone saying something to you that you want to probably hear or you would like to hear, you need to hear. But it's the truth and the knight of cups. 
So it looks like someone will be communicating emotions and that type of thing. But this Ace of Swords is telling you, whatever they say to you is the truth. Is the truth. Ain't no lying going on here. Yeah, they, this is absolutely your match. Look at the way the two of you look at each other. Look at the way this person looks at you. Very creative people. Both of you could be entrepreneurs or build something together. But this Queen of Wands is also no longer looking at this Three of Swords. She's no longer looking at any sort of pain. She's just not even focused on that. But I think in time, if you take things, you know, at a good pace, you'll see that this person is serious. They're, they, they're going to put their money where their mouth is. They're meant to bring you healing. They are, they are very much what you're desiring. Someone that is open. Someone that is ready to love. And it's time to move forward towards the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles will lead to the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful energy here. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Let's get some oracles for you. Pisces. Lots of fire going on here too. We also have Aquarius. Cancer. Could be meeting this person in Cancer season before the end of Cancer season. But it's like no more being alone. Because you have the five here and you got the ten here. And we also have the ten of wands, which signifies you are no longer going to need to do it alone. If you allow yourself, of course. If you want to resist, that's up to you as well. Guidance for Pisces. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. Yep. Tying back into that star card. This person can absolutely, they want the same thing as you is what I'm seeing. They want the same thing as you. There is alignment here if you want to align. Four of Wands is stability, moving in, you know, all that kind of stuff. This is beautiful. It can go all the way if you wanted to. Single days might be over. Very much getting this as a love read, though. Could that doesn't necessarily have to be. Could be finding um, an investor for some sort of entrepreneur endeavor, someone that has the same vision as you. And with this person, you are now able to take whatever vision you have, business you have, to a whole nother level. This partnership between the two of you is really going to propel whatever sort of vision you're having, dream you're wanting, whatever you're trying to create. It's now able to move forward in full force. But it, you are going to be happy. This is going to make you happy. Okay, this flipped out. Pay attention to the red flags. That's... That's what you might want to do. You might be tempted, but I don't think there are any, to be honest. And if there are, you will, you'll know. But the two of swords kind of tells me you might want to see red flags. You might be on hyper, hyper red flag uh, notice, hyper red flag observation. But I think you'll see eventually that, that there are none. If you take the blindfold off, you'll be able to see that this is something that has potential. It can go, it can go the, the long way. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give or receive the highest love of all. Keep an open mind. Yeah. Because right here, when you meet this person, your mind is not going to be open. <laughs> Very much going to be tempted to reject this. That is for Pisces. time to give rather than take new moon in virgo look at that be bold and make the first move so someone will make the first move because that's very much fire energy but this is saying it's okay to give it's okay to open up the queen of cups test it out your intuition will tell you if you're feeling the heebie-jeebies then run but if you're not proceed forward because i do get this person's here to help relieve some burden off of you you're not meant to do things alone anymore but free will is yours to exercise, as we all know. You can reject it if you'd like and continue to sort of, uh, you know, pull your own weight. Because look, you're going from the 10 to the 4. So this person is going to help alleviate some of those wands. Right into Pisces. Your ending is still unwritten. It's never too late to create the life you love. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and let's get one of these so this is saying this is another opportunity to have what it is you've always desired which is a partner that is just like you that is that wants the same things as you that is on the same page that has the same vision for their life as you do yours 
So this is an opportunity to still have that, but you gotta let yourself embrace it, see it for what it is. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Look at that. So this person's meant to heal your wound around commitments and relationships and stability. Maybe you've always wanted a family, never thought it was possible because you, you know, the way that the way society's set up, yeah. But this is like that to show you that there are still good ones out there. There are still people that have the same visions and intentions and they want the same things for their life as you do yours. This person is definitely a match though. So, I mean, yeah, there's that. Okay. All right, Pisces, that's your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.